beautiful Libras and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 10th up until February the 17th. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Libras. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Libras. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any guidance and messages that my Libras are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Libras this week, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. All right, Libras, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, so the death in the reverse, unfinished business. Perhaps for some of you guys, there's kind of like this energy where some of you guys might be dealing with a Scorpio. It does not have to be. This is just kind of like the energy that I'm picking up on of there is unfinished business in this situation. Perhaps at one point you gave a lot. You were very supportive of the situation. You tried to, you kind of tried to rescue the situation. You tried to rescue this person or you tried to continuously fix and fix and fix this person or fix the, the relationship, whatever it is. But I feel like this week someone is going to be coming into some kind of rude awakening, okay? There's this rude awakening going to happen this week because something has been repressed. Whether you're doing the repressing or your person, something has been buried. There has been basically a buried resolution for fear of getting hurt or for fear of what you're going to say, what you're going to tell them or what this person is going to tell you. Okay, let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on in your environment. Some of you guys might be dealing with any of the earth signs. I've already said Scorpio. Also, I see any of the air signs. I also see fire signs. What else do we have here? Any of the air signs, more air signs. Okay, Aries is coming out across the board and brand new beginnings. Wow. Beautiful energies down here. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, wow. Releasing yourself. This is absolutely beautiful. I also see the energy of Pisces. Okay, so let's see. And at the bottom of the deck, I do see Sagittarius. So there's this kind of energy that I'm picking up on right now, you know, just based on all of these beautiful, gorgeous energies where you do want a brand new start. I do see that you want a brand new beginning, okay? But I also see that there is some kind of repressed emotion. Someone here is hiding their emotions, how they feel. Maybe this is sort of like burying the hurt, the pain that was caused in the past. And the more you try to bury it and to say, you know what, I'm fine, it's fine, it's okay, but it's already done, it's forgotten. You know, the, the less that you're able to actually move on from it, okay? So I know that a lot of times it's it's, it's nice and all to, to just kind of logically try to make sense of emotions. But, you know, emotions are one thing and logic is a completely different, you know, just a completely different thing. So this week it's asking you, Libras, to really go underneath and rehash what it is that you feel so that you can move forward because this brand new energy is here for you, a brand new start, an opportunity for love, for career, for you to move on and forward. Whether it's with this person or without them, whatever the case may be, whoever is being kept up at night, whoever is kind of dealing with all of these, you know, just kind of like sleepless nights, maybe a lot of anxiety. Anxiety. I feel here that you maybe have been coming out of this anxiety that it, you're not showing to the world because right now I feel like you are ready to radiate love. You are ready to radiate self-confidence, you know, but there's also this other part of you that needs to be healed. Whether this is you or them, whoever this person is, it's like you can't continue avoiding um, those, those parts of you that need to be healed, okay? But let's go ahead and see what this death is in the reverse. What is this death in the reverse for Libras? What is this death in the reverse? Yeah, so again, there's an opportunity coming your way. Look at the, how beautiful these are. I mean, wow, absolutely gorgeous. The Ten of Cups here. The Two of Cups is in the reverse because, again, this has to be hashed out. This has to be talked about. You have to 
communicate, you have to open the lines of communication and say what you need to say. Okay. So, you know, it's like, it's kind of like this energy of getting back in touch with your boldness, with your energy of courage and saying what it is that you have to say. There's this kind of energy where somebody is not, um, somebody is, is kind of like trying to ignore the big pink elephant in the room. Okay. For fear of, of starting more drama or continuing the drama or whatever the case may be. But you know, this is asking you, this is the only solution. Look at the solution here. It's so gorgeous here with this 10 of cups. I mean, this has potential for a solution, but communication has to be had. Okay. There are somebody here. I feel like it's maybe it might be your person who is repressing their emotions. They're not really, you know, the type to really talk things through, but this person, whoever this is, is frenetically trying to just occupy themselves with, with mundane things that are not really significant to them. Maybe they're trying to tell you that they're too busy or whatever the case may be, but this is all kind of like delaying this brand new start that I see for both of you guys. I feel like one person here, I feel like it's your person who is very controlling. They're trying to control you. They're trying to control their emotions. They try to be very controlling of just the entire relationship by not showing any emotion. And by default, if they don't show emotion, then guess who does? Sometimes it's you, okay? So I feel like you guys have to just kind of like talk this out, maybe communicate with this person. There's this energy here where someone is resisting a natural ending to an old cycle. Now, a natural ending to an old cycle does not necessarily have to be ending the connection. It could just be the toxic cycle in the connection, okay? And once this is healed, once this is finished, right? Because this this has to be finished. I mean, it's, it's kind of like just lingering there. Once this is done, look what's here for you. The Ten of Cups. This is a divinely guided union. I mean, I cannot put it any other way. The Ten of Cups. This is a divinely guided union. You guys are connected emotionally, vibrationally at all levels here, okay? And there's this all also this energy here where I'm picking up on, you know, here with the moon in the reverse, there's just this energy that, I, that I'm picking up on where somebody here, again, it's very hard for them to come out of that depressed state, to open up their heart fully, because again, it's like, they kind of like, um, they kind of like tell themselves that, that they have been affected in their past and because of whatever has affected them maybe they have childhood issues maybe this person just wasn't ready for you or maybe you weren't ready for them when you guys were talking but you know i do sense here that you are beginning to realize with this beautiful energy that you do deserve better but let's go ahead and see what exactly i want to know what this eight of swords is in the reverse what is this eight of swords in the reverse yeah so like I said, somebody has to let down their guard, okay? Somebody here has to let down their guard because, you know, it's like tapping back into your courage, tapping tapping back into your strength. Someone is not seeing themselves for this beautiful, courageous person that they are. You have already done a lot of healing. You have already done a lot of work. And, you know, yeah, sure, it's okay to take your time uh, to allow love back into your life because maybe you're carefully monitoring your choices and that's fine and all. But I feel like at the end of the day, communication has to be had, okay? So there's this understanding that either you or your person has to have that you know, in order to heal any kind of situation, any kind of connection, any kind of relationship, you have to be able to talk things through. You have to be able to communicate between both of you guys, okay? Communication is the key. So this is just the resolution. The resolution I feel here is it doesn't have to end if you guys don't want it to end. If some of you guys want it to end, then that's up to you. But I feel here that most of, most of all, you know, what's important here is for you guys to communicate heart to heart, having a heart to heart conversation okay i feel like again maybe this person has some kind of childhood issues that they're still dealing with but i feel here that there's this energy where maybe your person is afraid to talk to you because they they feel like they can't handle your words right now it's sort of like something that you told them in the past uh, is still lingering in their mind and and it's kind of like um, it's keeping them away from talking to you so somebody here has to open up those lines of communication all right my beautiful libras 
Let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have for Libra's daydream? Okay, so this is just telling you, you know, it's time for you to manifest. Manifest something brand new that you want for your life. Here we have you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. So relax and open your mind to receive without directing your thoughts, without trying to control your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creation creativity all right one more guidance and angel message for libras what do we have here divine order what did i tell you look at this the scales this is representing libra okay i feel like everything is going to be put into fair balance very very soon here we have archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now, Libra. Look past the illusion and see that there is indeed underlying order in the situation. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. This is what I have for you this week, my beautiful Libras. If you are interested in a personal reading, I now have opening. So please do check the description box below. And follow my new Instagram page at Gina G Official as I will be posting more on there. That you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did. And let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.